I think um, as you were emotional, so were we. But they always say journey has to continue. This is for the last time that we'll be talking to you here as a concert general, hopefully, because you're leaving on 13th, but I'm coming to see you on 12th. That's a different issue. Here in review, 2016 being very beautiful from the Midwest diaspora, as well as from the Midwest, all the nine states that you represent to. 2017, you know, landmarks, you already written the year. Let's hear from you about the journey that Dr. Asuf Sayed has taken over the three and a half years period in the Middle East. How would you like to come? I think, uh, I, mean, I mean, undoubtedly, without uh, any exaggeration, this has been one of the most memorable and challenging and interesting postings uh, of all my uh, previous postings uh, uh, in my 27 year of diplomatic career because of the uh, the sheer uh, uh, you know diversity of the world and the size of the diaspora the size the geographic size of the nine states of the US Midwest their importance uh, uh, in the overall US is uh, India uh, you know economic and political engagement so uh, so to that extent first is that because the US Midwest I felt uh, is is a very very important region um, you know, it caters to several areas where now our uh, government of India uh, is focusing on these various flagships. Some regions are, uh, you know, very important from the agriculture point of view. See, for instance, Iowa. You see, Illinois, very important from life sciences, health, and IT. Michigan for manufacturing, innovation. So you look at any of these things, North Dakota again, you know, on the oil industry and agricultural thing. So professionally, it gave extreme satisfaction of the kind of work which we were able to do. Uh, and uh, uh, on the other level of the diaspora, uh, I would see that uh, the U.S. Midwest diaspora, uh, I, would, I would rate it as one of the most uh, uh, enterprising, uh, vibrant and productive diaspora here. And the, the testimony is that today we, we just also you saw uh, 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 Dr. Bharat Bhai win the uh, Pravasi Bharati Award. Not only that, there are many others who may not win the award, but the kind of contribution I was telling you. Some, there are scientists who have invented probiotics, there are scientists who are working on, uh, on uh, Ayurveda, there are scientists who are working on uh, you know, discovering a drug for pancreatic cancer. All these are Indians who are doing work right here. So, in fact, these are the unknown faces who are doing it. So, it was my pleasure to go talk to them, see what their work is doing, and bring their work to the notice of our government. That see, these are the hidden jewels who are there and who are doing this thing. So, these are silent people. They don't crave for any uh, any media exposure or anything to go out. But we have to go and seek them. So, I think it was also a very good learning experience. On a personal front also, I had met a lot of my friends because you see in Hyderabad we had a lot of these uh, Catholic schools and many of us studied there. So we had a huge uh, alumni of those schools here. So I was actually able to uh, meet my friends uh, who had not met for 40, 45 years. You know, can you imagine? So, you know, those were, were extraordinary. And, but I think when I'm, I'm, and the most important thing to me was uh, to make things easy for public. And as you see, I mean, I had really virtually removed any kind of wall or a firewall between the community and the consulate. People could reach me on a Sunday. Uh, I know there was a, a community member who lost his passport in Rome. He called me on a Sunday. I said, I never expected you would pick up. I said, why did you think so? I mean, I gave you the number so you could call me. So, you know, uh, that gives you satisfaction. It will not give us medals, but definitely a satisfaction that anybody who comes to us and goes satisfied is what it is. So, from my very initial stage of my career when I was a regional passport officer, where I was actually seeing 500 people a day, every day, I barely used to get time for a cup of tea and from 9 o'clock to 1 o'clock and, and, you know, till the lunch. That is, and then here, and every time I tell my staff members that, uh, see the vision of our leadership, they want to give the best of the thing, so we should never let this expectation down. So, you know, whatever you try to do, there are constraints which are there of staff, or timing and multitasking, but whatever it is, but, but it is will there is do it. And you have yourself been covering our this thing and seeing the thing. Now the number of people who have complaints have reduced so 
so less it has been so reduced so much that uh, there are complaints are so less and, and so even that when we had this open house we only had five people turn up because that shows that you know that open door things policy which we have things are moving they can talk to us they can reach out to us so i think this is there so it's like i believe like uh, in uh, in uh, mahabharata lord krishna said you know you do to, to arjuna i say you do your job you do your come and then move on so i think uh, i am very satisfied of playing uh, my role which was assigned to me by government of india i am now moving to another assignment which is another different role which uh, government of india is assigning me and uh, i do hope that uh, uh, you know i'll be able to do this let's job. ask you two questions yes and no questions will you miss chicago midwest 100% i'll more than miss uh, but then also i'll tell you that i will be back in chicago on a personal capacity because my children are going to be studying here and of course i, I did mention uh, that my father lies yes, buried yes. here so there is an emotional attachment to chicago so i think after my hometown hyderabad and the home country india then i think chicago would be the second home uh, to that extent and with so many friends and in fact i mean you will be so much surprised and there are so many friends who say next time you come please tell us we'll come to the airport to pick you up you can stay with us so this is the love this is the love which i'm carrying across the world it's not about uh, you know people from one region one religion and everybody everybody so this is the thing which i feel is that uh, as a representative of government and my second yes and no question is if three more years would you like to serve no i think you know uh no i mean i'll say no to this because uh, you see uh, you know each one comes and plays a role and then moves on once the role is played and we expect that somebody else comes and carries on the work and not only carries on the work but excels the work which has been done in the past so i wish my uh, successor nita bhushan all the best in her uh, uh, you know tenure here i'm sure the community would give her the same love and affection as they had given to me uh, she is a very fine officer of uh, 1994 batch and you're a young officer perhaps the youngest consul general uh, to ever come in chicago uh, i'm sure that uh, all the good work which chicago has done so far in the 3 and 1/2 years and, and even before and she would continue we wish you all the best and good luck thank sir you. thank you sir